Why do I say don't think out of the box? There's two serious problems. First is one I already mentioned to you. As Aini and Debranda Berra deal with in their fantastic book, Thinking Into New Boxes. Thinking out of the box gives you an infinite world to think into, but this means that there's no guidelines. There's no guidance as to what you should think. Nothing to work with. It's impractical. The experience most people have trying to think out of the box, as we've just discussed, it's empty brain silence. And secondly, as I've said, you and I as humans are not designed to think out of boxes. We're no good at it. We have no talent for it whatsoever. What we're really good at is thinking into boxes. It's the same for all animals. Take, for example, uh, an African fat-tailed gecko. An African fat-tailed gecko only has a few boxes to think into. Is this good to eat or not? Is this safe or not? Will it kill me or not? They don't really change these boxes. Unlike my dog, see, she has more boxes. When Bonbon bon saw the carrot, she thought about it. She decided to try it in her good to eat box. The challenge that we have as humans, we have a lot of boxes. If you start dealing with the amount of judgments you're making every minute, you'll notice so many of them happening. Do I like Michael's voice or not? Do I like his accent or not? Is his race, is his gender, is any of this upset me? Do I think it's wrong or right? Does the last thing you said to somebody before you watch this video make you look smart or stupid? What kind of judgments are you making about things that already happened or might happen soon? And there's nothing wrong to this. It's absolutely natural to think in the boxes. That's what people do. We're box machines. And it's a good thing we are because if we didn't do that, we wouldn't know what to do. We'd end up sitting around like a vegetable. So thinking into the box is the way. Find out why and what this means in the next video.